and the, their confidence is very humbling to have received this kind of mandate from the people. And now the real work begins. During the campaign, I made a commitment. I promised to deliver a government that will work for the people. I promised to lead a team that is ready to govern, a team that is ready to deliver our plan for the people of Ontario. I promised we would be ready from day one and we have already hit the ground running. Last night, I spoke with Premier Wynne and with Andrea Horvath. Ms. Wynne was gracious and has promised her team's support to ensure a smooth transition. As for Ms. Horvath, I congratulated her on a hard-fought campaign. I welcome the opportunity to sit down with her prior to the start of the legislature to discuss our agenda. Because as I said throughout the campaign, I intend to lead a, a government for all the people. Later today, I'll meet with the Lieutenant Governor, where I expect to receive an invitation to form Ontario's next government. I've also spoken with Prime Minister Trudeau. I've laid out my priorities for the people of Ontario. I made a commitment to work closely with our federal partners to support them with the ongoing negotiations with our neighbours to the south and work together to deliver on our plan for the people of Ontario. I told the Prime Minister that we will make Ontario the engine of Canada once again and what is good for Ontario is good for Canada. The chair of my transition team has already met with the Secretary to Cabinet and work on the transition of power is well underway. We have begun work right away on setting up the Premier's office, establishing a Cabinet and implementing the machinery of our new government. And we are moving forward on delivering our plan for Ontario to reduce your tax bill and put more money in your pocket, to clean up the hydro mess and bring down your hydro bills to create good jobs and stimulate our economy to restore accountability and trust to cut hospital wait times and put an end to hallway health care after a far a hard fought campaign we know the hard work has just begun but we intend to act fast we will have much more to share with the people of Ontario in the coming days and weeks. And for now, I want the people of our great province to know I will do everything in my power to live up to the faith you've put in me and my team. A new day has dawned in Ontario and help is here. Thank you. Well, I talked to the Prime Minister yesterday. I said we'll stand united uh, against our neighbours to the south. And I'm, I'm very sincere when I say that. You know, united we stand as a country. And I'll work uh, hand in hand with the Prime Minister. And I was very clear on that last night when I spoke to him. And uh, we'll, we'll be successful. We'll be successful not only in Ontario, but right across this country. Well, the only people I've heard that from is the press. Uh, the people out there have given me a clear mandate, a very clear mandate to govern. We're going to govern. We have a team ready. We have the best team that I've ever seen compiled in 30 years of politics and uh, from a wide range of backgrounds, diversities, and uh, a, lot of, a lot of different uh, professions. And we have an incredible team, and we look forward to uh, governing. Well, first of all, we, we have to look at the books. We have to see uh, the financial situation. 
that's been left behind. And over the next uh, couple days and weeks, uh, you're going to hear from us. And but the most important thing is getting our fiscal house in order. <laughs> yeah, Sue Ann. Yeah, well, we're, first of all, we're, we're going to go out for bid for that, like we're going to do for everything. Uh, and that, that's going to be very clear. I don't care if it's pencils or, or uh, newspapers. Everything's going out for bid. And that wasn't the way in the, in the past, but that's the new way. We're going to start respecting the taxpayers. And immediately we'll be out uh, looking for an auditing firm to go in to the province, go line item by line item. Uh, I always, uh, always believe in third-party validation. And uh, we'll we'll end up doing that uh, ASAP right away. Well, again, uh, yeah. O over the next uh, few days and and couple of weeks, uh, I figured the the transition will take 21 days, and we'll be able to answer that as we move forward. We'll be putting together a, a group of all-star cabinet uh, ministers, and that that's going to be the toughest thing. You know, I, we worked hard and really got to know uh, each and every candidate. And we have a group of all-stars. And the toughest decision I'm going to have to make is to put a cabinet together. Because in my opinion, we had 123 all-stars. 75 of them got elected. Four or five lost by 50, 60, 70 votes. Uh, very close races. And uh, we're, we're going to move forward. and get this province back on track and, and tell the world, as I say, you know, Ontario is open for business. <laughs> well, during the election, I, I committed to that and I always keep my promises. But uh, again, uh, my friends, what we, what we have to do is uh, sit down and, and talk to all 75 uh, members of our team, uh, pick a, a cabinet, which we'll be doing. We have a great transition team headed up by Chris Froggett, uh, one of the smartest uh, people I've ever worked with in politics. And uh, we appreciate uh, their team and, and the leadership he's shown, not only throughout the campaign, but uh, as he'll show in, in the transition team. I apologize, I didn't catch the first part of your question. Yes. Well, the only people getting hurt at York University, and I've met numerous uh, students, uh, are the students. You know, I, I believe in fair negotiation, and I will always uh, respect that. Uh, but there's a time that we have to move forward. But again, uh, over the next day or uh, weeks, uh, we'll, we'll address that. We're going to, yeah, we're, we're going to look at all options and uh, we've been in touch with uh, some of the folks there and we're going to lay everything on the table and, and try to get that uh, ended as soon as possible because the only people, again, that are getting hurt here are, are the students and uh, we want to put a, a quick end to this. Yes. Uh, again, we're going to sit down and, and talk to our team, talk to our transition team, and and we'll we'll be able to discuss that in uh, days and weeks to come. Mr. Ford, how many Brian Allen was here last night? One of the things that he had said was that he wants to see the Chestnut Board in the field when he got into the school year in September. When you do that, you said that he wanted a field in Chestnut yeah. Board in order to put it to something else. Mm -hmm. Would you do it in time for kids who are going to be going back to school in September? Well, again, I'll, I'll sit down with uh, our new cabinet and uh, with the Minister of Education, uh, discuss that with them. Uh, but I can tell you one thing, we're repealing it. And I'll tell you another thing, we keep our promises. What we say we're going to do, we're going to do. We aren't going to flip-flop. We have a clear mandate from the people, and we want to make sure that uh, over the next uh, four years, uh, our mandate gets fulfilled uh, based on, on the people uh, voting us in. Well, 
Well, again, my friends, that's uh, that's something that we'll we'll talk about in the future. Uh, and our family uh, was there, and uh, it was uh, it was great. I was I was I was so happy. My my mother was there, and uh, I know Rob and my dad were looking down on us. And I give uh, a lot of credit to Rob for the reason I'm standing here today. Uh, but we're going to uh, we have a great team, and we're going to move forward with our with our team and. I look forward to talking to you in days and weeks ahead. I know I'm going to be sitting down with a few outlets uh, today. But again, I, I want to thank you for coming. And uh, you, you will have uh, all the access you, you need from, uh, from Doug Ford here. Thank you. Thank you, my friends. Thank you. You are watching Channel Y. Channel Y, a South Asian Canadian channel. Free preview on Bell 828 and Rogers 857.